dishes, 20% sucrose solution, Tradescantia or Rio leaf, water, slides, cover slips. Procedure. Take a leaf of Tradescantia. Peel off a small segment of lower epidermis of Tradescantia leaf which is purple in color. This can be done by tearing the leaf obliquely with a single jerk. Cut it into small pieces. Dip one piece of such cut leaf in a petri dish containing water and the other in 20% sucrose solution. Keep both the pieces of leaves for about 5 to 10 minutes or so. Mount the piece kept in water on a slide and observe it under the microscope. Similarly, mount the other piece of leaf that was kept in sucrose solution. This mounting should be done in the same sugar solution in which it was kept in the petri dish. Now, mount the slides under the microscope and observe them one by one. The slides thus prepared are seen like this under the microscope. Observation and Result It will be seen that the peel kept in water shows normal cells. Their protoplasm is seen pressed against the cell wall. The peel kept in 20% sucrose solution shows the shrinkage of protoplasm of cells into round mass. This indicates that the plasmolysis has occurred in them. Remember, when plant cells are kept in hypertonic solution, that is a solution having higher solute concentration than that of the cell sap, the cytoplasm along with the plasma membrane withdraws from the cell wall owing to the exit of water from the cell. This phenomenon is called plasmolysis. Based on the concentration of the solutions in comparison to the cell sap, the solutions can be either hypotonic, hypotonic or isotonic. Hypotonic solution. When the solute concentration of external medium is higher than that of the cell sap, it is called a hypertonic solution. On the other hand, when the, when the solute concentration of the external medium is lesser than that of the cell sap, it is called hypotonic solution. When the external solution and the cell sap both have same solute concentration, then it is called isotonic solution.